One of the problems of buying avocado in a region that they don't grow in is they arrive at the store underripe and then by the time you, you realize they're ripe, they're rotting. Um, they went from underripe to this stage in five days. It's not a really good window of opportunity for Thank us. Thank you all for watching. Okay. Hi Diego, out of YouTube. Welcome to day 129, non-stop barbecue marathon days in a row. We're doing pork loins on the barbecue, and we're gonna do nachos. First. Angie's really hungry, so we're gonna accelerate the uh, starting of the charcoal chimney by using a paper bag and the rocket stove. How cool is that? All right, here we've got salt. Just put some salt on that there. And then we put it with my Northwest garlic. And then we added Tango Spice, twist and shout. Actually did that in reverse order. And that's it. We're just gonna grill them up like that. And we're gonna dice them up. Uh, after we flip them, we'll hit them with some more Tango Spice. Um, we're gonna cook them this side down, flip them, hit them with some Tango Spice on the barbecue, low and slow. We've got the rocket chimney assisting the barbecue start. All right, it's been five minutes or so, and our charcoal is really I like to shake it like this and let the small stuff drop out of the bottom first. And then you dump it all in there. And then get a tool. And move it around. I need to get it up out here more. Get that old stuff started up. Spread out the heat more evenly. Make sure there's plenty of air pockets. Break up that big piece of wood there. And in a couple minutes as this cleans off. We'll scrub it and then we'll be ready to cook. I'm also going to do a small um, salsa that I'm going to cook, I think. I'm going to have to check my tomato situation first. If I have fresh tomatoes, I won't cook it. I want to show you my redneck table I'm going to be using here so when you see me reaching off camera you know where it is. Okay, we've got the cast iron skillet on the barbecue. Hot. So what we're going to do first is we're going to put some coconut oil in there and we're going to put some corn in there and we're going to fry the corn on the high side for just a few minutes to kind of scorch it. This is a first step of our salsa. I have two cans of diced tomatoes. I put a, almost a tablespoon of sugar in the raw in each can. I have a can of corn that I drained. I have a can of beans that I drained. I'm going to leave the juice in the tomatoes because that will give it a good flavor. I'm cooking up the tomatoes because I made salsa of raw and it didn't taste that good. Well, by raw I mean straight out of the can. So we're going to sugar it up. We're going to cook them up. They're going to go in after the corn scorched and they're going to go in with the beans. I've also got some Tango Spice Twist and Shot. We're going to season that heck out of that stuff with. And then we're going to, we've already seasoned our pork chops with my Northwest Garlic and Tango Spices Twist and Shot. So that's the stars of the show today. We're going to do, after we cook up the, after we scorch the corn, we're going to throw them chops down. We're going to grill them up, cook the corn on low side, the salsa, and then we're going to dice up the 
cooked meat and mix it in with the salsa. Then we're going to barbecue up some Tostito chips and layer it with cheese and meat and salsa and cheese and meat and salsa. And that's going to be our meal today. Looking hot. Let's get some uh, coconut oil on here. Let me tell you, that is hot even with that glove on. Ooh. A little of it got darkened. That's going to give it a roasted flavor. Just let it go a little while longer and I'll go get some better utensils. Alright, I just noticed we have plenty of room for the steaks to start, so or the chops to start, so I'm gonna get Alright, I got this cleaned and I realized my corn's as dud as I want it to go, so let's get the rest of the ingredients in here. Twist and shout. That was at least a tablespoon, maybe two. What do you guys think? I think it's closer to one and a half tablespoon. Anyways, we're just stirring it all up to get the flavors to mingle. And then we're going to reduce it. And we'll just heat the beans up a little bit. And then we're going to sprinkle some more twist and shout just to make sure we've got an even flavoring coverage going on there. So that's our survival cooking salsa. We had a bunch of orange tomatoes today but no fresh ones. And now it's time to turn the stove down. Where's the lid? Wait a few minutes. Alright. It has not reduced that much. And it could be because the tomatoes are cooking now and they're releasing liquid. Alright. These look like they might need to be flipped. Oh yeah, that's just about perfect there. And we're cooking these at dang hot temperature. Alright, and then I'm going to heat these nachos up before we put anything on top of them. Because that's how I roll. Nachos are getting toasty there. So it's time to add some cheese to them. I like to have them crisp, the Tostitos, crisp before I put the cheese on. Otherwise it just makes them soggy. Uh, I did put some garlic granules and some Parmesan cheese on to get it roasted too. Uh, I don't have any shredded cheese, so I'm making do with what I got. This is garlic. I was planning on using some pepper jack, but it molded. Which is funny, because I didn't notice that last night when I ate it. I hope, uh, I guess I'm okay. Alright, I'm just going to slice this up real quick, real thin. Then we're going to put this on top of the meat, or the chips. Put the meat on top of the meat. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Yes sirree, look at that. That cheese is melted, the parmesan is starting to turn golden brown. We're just going to spread some meat all over this lovely place. We just need to top it with some salsa. This is almost a chili.
I am trying to get all the juice out of it before I bring it over here. Oh. And I just need to cover it up with a little more cheese and call it good. Or we can pop it then put some more meat on top of the cheese. And we'll spread it out a little more than that. Okay. And you can put another layer of chips and do it all over again if that's how you want to do it. If that's really what you want to do and how you want to do it. But that's not what we're all about and that's not how we're going to do it. As you can see that's not too burnt. So, as you may happen with you, I get kind of skittish and not at the top of my game when I'm this hungry. Um, my mouth is watering, I'm starting to sweat a little bit. Probably from the barbecue, it might be in anticipation. Now, in hindsight, if I had some, Knox's Ambrosia Spice would be awesome on this. But, this is what we got and this is what we're having. Let's get the little woman fed and have some food. All right, we're still we got to get the avocado going, but this is pretty good mingling of flavors. I really like this. I give it a shot. Tell me what you think. Shucks, that's good. Thank you all for watching.